Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Today we're going to demonstrate to you how to conduct a COVID-19 lateral flow test for the purposes of attending Jilsa Salana United Kingdom 2021. First of all, we need to find a flat surface which we need to clear and then clean with some disinfectant. You must not have eaten or drunk anything 30 minutes prior to the test. The test is essentially a swab of the throat and the nose. You must ensure that if you have any nose piercings that they are to be removed. And always read the instructions very carefully as there may be a slight variation between different test manufacturers. You need to wash your hands with warm soapy water for 20 seconds at least. Here you can see the test kit. The test kit contains a swab, an extraction tube holder, an extraction tube itself, the buffer solution, the test strip in a foil and also a waste supply bag. So now we need to get ready to take the test. First of all, we need to take the test out from the foil pack and place it on a flat surface. Then we need to ensure that we take the buffer solution and we need to take the tip off the buffer solution, discard it and then place the buffer solution into the extraction tube. Now before we actually take the swab we need to blow our nose. We now have to wash our hands again Again, for 20 seconds with warm soapy water. We now take the swab and we remove it from the sterile packaging. Now, remember this test can be slightly uncomfortable, however, that is entirely normal. Ensure that the fabric end of the swab does not touch anything else in terms of your teeth, tongue and the gums. Place the swab between your fingertips. Use a mirror to help you take the swab. Open your mouth nice and wide and rub against the tonsil area four times like this. Now we're going to use the same swab and we're going to take the swab from inside the nose. Place the swab inside the nose until you meet some resistance and once inserted you need to twirl the swab 10 times. Again without touching anything else remove the swab and it's important that the fabric tip of the swab does not touch anything else. Now we're going to move to process the sample. Now we're going to place the fabric end of the swab into the extraction tube. Place the fabric end of the swab without touching anything else into the extraction tube and rotate for around 15 seconds. Pinch the tip of the extraction tube to ensure that you get adequate buffer around the swab. And then as you remove the swab, pinch the tip to remove any liquid from the tip of the swab. Dispose of the swab, close the extraction tube nozzle and now we're going to take two drops of the buffer solution and we're going to place it into the, the test in the well marked S. Now we need to wait for 30 minutes and we're going to set ourselves a timer after which we're going to read the test. It's important that the test is not read until 30 minutes have elapsed as a false reading can be had. If there is a single line next to C, that is a negative result. If, however, there are two lines, then that is a positive result and you will be required to self-isolate as per the government guidelines and also order a PCR swab 
via the NHS. If, however, you can see no lines, or there is only a single line next to the T, then that is an invalid test, which means you will need to repeat the test using a new test. You must then update your result onto the NHS portal via the following web link. Thank you very much.